Hello, uh, my name is Kang Lian, and this is my submission for a humanities teaching project. Um, today, I'll be talking about the School of Athens. Uh, the context of my presentation will be, we'll talk about in what medium is the picture created, um, what are the important lines and shapes, um, how does the picture use color and light, and what is the significant patterns, and finally, what is the overall point of this painting. In what medium is the picture created? Uh, the School of Athens <coughs> was painted between 1509 to 1511 by Raphael. Um, and, this, and it is located in the Stanza della Signatura, and it is created using the fresco painting style. And the fresco painting styles can be described as a painting technique that involves painting with water-based paintings on a spread moisture plaster. Um, and the School of Athens can be seen in this picture right here. And what are the important lines and shapes? Uh, so the <coughs> School of Athens uses lines and ge geometric sh shapes such as triangles, squares, and circles to draw the viewer's attention. Uh, furthermore, Raphael implements vertical and horiz horizontal lines to direct the viewer's attention into a vanishing point. Um, an example of this vanishing point can be seen in figure one. Um, in this picture, the dot, the black dot in the middle is called the vanishing point drawn by the horizontal and vertical lines. Um, and this vanishing point is also known as the linear perspective or the one point technique. And what this one point technique or linear perspective does is it draws the viewer's attention into the, into one part of the painting or picture. Um, what are the important lines and shapes that continued is the linear perspective is important in the School of Athens because it captures the perspective of motion and depth in the painting. Um, the painting pers the linear perspective focuses the attention onto Plato and Aristotle. Uh, this can be seen in figure two, which showcases the finishing point in the School of Athens. And the school, the finishing point is located right between Apostle and, and Plato. Um, so the overall effect of Raphael's use of lines and shapes causes a three-dimensional scene where it shows the audience motion of not only Plato and Aristotle, but with all the characters as well. Um, how does the picture use color and light? So the School of Athens uses light, uses light field colors, and especially in the backgrounds of the picture, uh, this this causes the picture to be depicted as a light field space. This can be seen when the architecture of the picture showcases the clear clear blue sky in the background. Uh, which can be seen in figure three and the robes of the characters also showcase a light tone of, co of color choice um, additionally Raphael does not use any dark tone color to emphasize the people in the picture but rather he uses a softer light tone and the school of Athens use, also uses the principal, principles of the linear perspective to showcase to the audience members that as the object is further away from the audience eyes, the lighter the color becomes. Um, and the light tone color changes can be seen in the robes and the clothing that the character wears, which can be seen in figure four and figure five. Um, the, this shows the audience that Raphael utilizes the color technique, uh, also known as the sfumato and the chiaroscuro techniques. The sfumato technique can be described as a coloring technique that lacks harsh contours and it has a smoky effect on the, to the painting, and this helps the painting transition between color and tones. Um, so what is the significant pattern in overall meaning point of this painting. The School of Athens portrays a message of philosophy, one of the major disciplines of human knowledge, poetry, justice, and theology as it includes famous philosophers, mathematicians such as Ptolemy, uh, Ephesus, um, Arachmedes, Her Heraclitus of Ephesus, um, Raphael, the Socrates, and the two most important philosophers, Plato and Aristotle, which can be seen in figure six. In the School of Athens painting. Um, as the painting depicts these famous philosophers, mathematicians, and scientists, it tries to show the audience about like knowledge and wisdom and how these great philosophers come together to discuss and learn from each other. In figure seven, 
It shows the close-up view of Heraclitus of Ephesus and in figure 8. It shows the close-up view of the Pythagoras and in figure 9. It shows the close-up view of Ptolemy and Raphael, the, uh, the, the painter of the School of Athens. Uh, so what is the overall meaning and what is the message? In conclusion, the overall meaning of the School of Athens is to showcase the power of wisdom, knowledge, that represents all the great, greatest mathematicians, philosophers, and scientists from classical antiquity gathered, sharing the ideas and learning from each other. Um, they are communicating through knowledge, and these figures all lived at different times, but they are gathered together under one roof to share wisdom.